Hey all, I've been shopping. I have recent hauls from Amazon, Ulta, Dollar Tree, and Sephora. Talk about the spectrum of prices there. And I am going to show you not only what I bought, but I'm going to show me applying it as I talk about it because I think it's much more helpful to see products in action than to just see them in their boxes. I am wearing everything on my face that I'm going to talk about in this video. And the look that's on my eyes, I did for a collaboration video with my good friend Andy over at Andy Does Stuff. And I will have that linked in the description box below and as an end screen when you get to the end of this video if you want to go see what I used to create this eye look. But let's get into my shopping, shall we? So first up, I have some skincare from Dollar Tree. The first thing I have is from Global Beauty Care, and it's this Aqua Sleeping Mask plus Hyaluronic Acid. This overnight revitalizing gel mask is just what it says. It's a gel. It's kind of a gel texture. It does not have fragrance, and it's just really soft and very hydrating. I used this last night when I went to bed, and I woke up, and my skin just felt really good. It's soft, and but not too heavy. I don't feel like... Um, I do have kind of oily skin, and so if a cream is really heavy, I feel like it's just more than what I need. And this wasn't, but just really a nice sleeping mask. And, you know, $1.25, that's not bad. And if I'm being honest, before I realized it was actually an overnight sleeping mask, I used it for a daytime moisturizer, and I did not have any trouble with it under my makeup. Sometimes reading instructions might be a little helpful. The other thing I got from Dollar Tree was this Beauty Guru Under Eye Serum with Sea Buckthorn. I really like Sea Buckthorn oil. On the side of the box it says that Sea Buckthorn is traditionally known as a reviving oil. And this is a nice applicator. It has a roll-on applicator and you can see that I put it on and then tapped it in. and. I don't know that it felt revitalizing or reviving, but it did feel very hydrating under my eyes. It soaked in very quickly, did not leave my under eyes feeling greasy. And my makeup and my concealer went on really well. So I will continue to use this. It's hard to know with skincare after one application, but I didn't have any adverse reactions or, or thoughts about it. Then I wanted my birthday gift from Sephora, but I don't have a Sephora close to me and I wasn't going to drive just for the birthday gift. In order to get it online, you have to order something. And I just happened to notice that they were having free shipping on any order. So in order to get my birthday gift, I ordered a somewhat expensive package, I mean $4, it wasn't horrible, of organic cotton pads that would ship free and then I could get my birthday gift, which is this Tatcha set, mini set. And it comes with the rice wash, which I have used almost an entire mini of this up. I love it. It is so gentle of an exfoliator, but it just leaves my skin feeling so smooth and so pretty. So I was very happy to get another one of these. The Dewy Skin Cream. It's this pretty purple color. It has such a light scent it has kind of a bouncy texture and just goes so well under makeup very hydrating but not overly so again with my oily skin especially going into summer i need to be careful that i don't get too much hydration because then my makeup will just fall off my face and it also came with a tiny little sample of the tatcha liquid silk canvas that probably has two, perhaps three uses in here. And I put this on one side of my face, put this on this side of my face to see how it does with my makeup. And on the other side of my face, I used something that I got from Ulta and that's the LA Girl Pro Prep and Prime. It says high definition smoothing face primer. This is a silicone primer and it does have that clear silicone look and feel but wow look at the blurring that this did on my face when i put this on i feel like the pores around my nose and on my cheeks are much more blurred with the la girl pro prep primer than with the tatcha liquid silk canvas and i think that even continues through to having my makeup completed 
with foundation and powder and setting spray and all of that, I still feel like I'm more blurred on this side than I am on this side. So um, the touch is a lot more expensive, obviously, than the LA Girl. Ingredient wise, they're not similar. But if what you want from a primer is blurring, then the LA Girl's going to get it done. I also wanted to get my Ulta birthday gift, but I did have a few other things that I wanted from Ulta, so I went ahead and placed an order there. One of the things that I got from Ulta was the Soap and Glory Cleansing Balm. It is Glow Your Mind Nourishing Cleansing Balm. I did a price comparison of this, the Elf Cleansing Balm, and the Clinique Take the Day Off, which is my holy grail, the one that I have used for at least a year and a half now, but I will only buy it when I can get it half off because I won't pay the full price for it. And I did a per ounce comparison and the Soap and Glory, not on sale, is actually the best deal per ounce. And I will put some numbers up here so that you can see um, that comparison, but I these were on sale. And so I actually bought two. Editing Tina here. Wow, prices have changed a lot since I last purchased these products back in the fall of 2021, but the Soap and Glory Cleansing Balm on sale was a really good deal. Unfortunately, it appears that it is no longer available at Ulta and it's getting difficult to find, so it looks like I might be on the hunt for a cleansing balm again. You may need to pause the video in order to see all the numbers on this slide if you're interested. And this is now my new holy grail. I am using the last Clinique Take the Day Off that I bought at Black Friday sales. So when that's gone, I will be using this one exclusively. I did try the e.l.f. and I could not use it. It bothers my eyes. It worked great as a cleansing balm. So if you don't have the issue with your eyes and you want to use it, um, I would recommend it. I just can't use it because of the eye irritation. And I am almost out of my cleanser. So I bought a Neutrogena Hydra Boost cleansing gel. This is my favorite double cleanse. It took me a while to actually get back to it because I had used it. Then I tried the CeraVe and then Acetophil, and those are big bottles, so it took a really long time to get through them. And I like them okay, but there are times, and I think it's when my skin is more irritated because of my tretinoin use, that they, they sting just a little bit. Not a lot, not like, oh my gosh, my skin's on fire, but this never does. What, so why would I use something that sometimes stings when there's something that never does? And so I'm back to here and I'm sticking here. And see, that's part of the problem of trying different things because you want to give your experience of using them, but then I'm kind of cheap. And so I want to use them up before I buy something else. And there are just certain things that I'm done trying. I have decided that I'm much more adventurous when it comes to trying makeup than when it comes to trying skincare. And I'm still on the hunt for a good under eye color corrector. The ones I have right now are the Bobbi Brown. I used a Ulta gift card to buy that and do I regret it? No, not necessarily regret it because it is good and I have used a lot of it, but I don't think it lives up to the hype that it has gotten on YouTube and other places. I also have the Hard Candy Cushion Wonder and I actually like this one. I think this is a good corrector, um, especially if you're looking for a little bit sheerer coverage days. This eye maybe you've noticed, definitely has a darker and deeper trough than this eye. And so some of this is just shadow, but the purpose of the color corrector is to help bring that out so that the shadow isn't quite as noticeable. So today I used the Flower Plus CBD Chill Out Color Correcting Concealer, and I am happy with it. It's very emollient. It's got this really pretty packaging. It's actually glass and it's a good color for me. It's a light peach color, so it's not too peach and very emollient. And as you can see here, I just use the warmth of my finger to apply it. I really like applying concealers and correctors with my finger because I think that Warming them up helps them to meld better with your skin and to get into the wrinkles and crinkles and creases and crevices that are there under our eyes as we get to this age. And I also like to straighten out the skin under my eye very gently using a puff so that I don't get the vertical kind of wave-like creases that I can sometimes see if I'm not careful about straightening that skin before blending in my concealer. 
And then the birthday gift itself, which was the whole reason for this order. Um, I'm not sure that I actually came out on the positive side here to get the free eyeliner and I ordered all the other stuff, but it made sense at the time. It's the Quick Liner for Eyes Intense and it's a, an auto eyeliner pencil that you can see here as I apply it. You can get a thicker line or a thinner line. It goes on very easily with no skipping and I used it to tight line and to also fill in just above my lashes. I've been really enjoying not doing a thick line of eyeliner and just kind of filling in between my eyelashes and then smudging it out with a with an eyeliner brush. However, one of the big tests for me for an eyeliner pencil is does it transfer from my upper waterline to my lower waterline before it sets down? And I tend to not want dark eyeliner in my lower waterline and you can see here that this one does actually transfer a little bit. So knowing this, when I use this one, I'm going to have to make sure I keep my eyes open and don't blink before it has a chance to set down. And that's hard to do, especially after you've just tight lined and your eyes are a little bit watery and you just want to close them. So yeah, Clinique, mm, not real happy about that. Especially because my Wet n Wild breakup proof that is way less expensive, if I were to actually have purchased that with my own money, doesn't do that. Moving on to Amazon purchases, and this is going to be a little bit mixed up in the order of how things were applied, but they all did get applied today. I have a repurchase of the MyShell Dermaceuticals Sunshield Liquid SPF 50, and I did an entire review of this. I will have that linked in the description box below or in the cards here. I love this. And actually, I had done this as a subscribe and save and forgot to cancel it. But I set it up for like four months and it worked out actually perfectly because my daughter decided that she needed a new sunscreen. And so she took my other bottle and also really likes it. And so then this came. I have now canceled the subscribe and save. You can see here as I'm putting it on. Um, that it's very liquidy, but it blends in so fast. And the, the tint for me, I have light medium and it's perfect for my skin tone. Uh, they do have several different tints, so you can find one hopefully for your skin tone. And there's no white cast at all. I could wear this as my foundation. I did wear this Saturday. I was outside all day. We had a couple of different events that we were doing. We went to a chuck wagon festival and we got to meet Cowboy Camp Rollins. If you haven't watched him, I'm actually going to link his video down below. And it would be hysterical if a bunch of you go see him and he wonders why he's getting a bunch of views from a makeup channel. Anyway, it was just a wonderful day. But I, the whole point of this story is I was outside all day and then we went fishing for my son's birthday and had a bonfire and a weenie roast. And I was outside all day and I did not have a chance to reapply my sunscreen. I know you're supposed to, but I did not have a chance to. And I did not get sunburned at all. I had just a little pink starting to come through on my nose. So not only does it make my skin look really pretty, but it actually does really well as a sunscreen, which is kind of the point. When I see a YouTuber use a product that I think that I might want to try, I'll put it on my shopping list. And then when it comes up that I, oh, I want to try a foundation or I want to try a blush or whatever, then I just pull something off my shopping list and drop it in my cart. And this does two things for me. It curves impulse purchases because when I have the impulse, it goes onto my shopping list. And then I have time to think about it for a while. And sometimes I think about it for months. And every now and then I'll go into my shopping list and I'll go through and I'm like, eh, I don't want to try that anymore. Or yes, I really still want to try that. And then I purchase it. And that's what I did with this Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream. So I first heard about this from Mandy Lee. And if you haven't watched her, I will link her channel down below so you can go check her out when you're done here. And I just liked the way this looked on her skin. I got the color 15 Rose Ivory. I wasn't sure when I first put this on my arm if I was going to like it because it seemed a little yellow. But the nice thing about a BB cream or a CC cream is that the coverage tends to be a little lighter and you often have a little more leeway with the color. 
This says it gives you a healthy looking glow, flawless coverage, and it's EO, essential oil, and fragrance free. Those are very good things. It does not say anything about an SPF, which is fine because I use a separate SPF. It has an expiration of 2024, so that's really nice. Um, I did a swatch on my arm that I'm going to let set for about five minutes to see if it oxidizes, and then I will put a, another swatch next to it. And you can see here, looking at the fresh swatch, the foundation does oxidize just a little. So that may help you in selecting your color if you decide you want to try this. I don't feel that looking at my skin that it has oxidized or turned yellow. We're almost done. If you have gotten to this point in the video, then I have a favor to ask of you. I would like for you to go down in the comment section and just type the word summer. That's all you have to do, just summer. And while you're down there, hit that like button. Those two things increase my engagement score and it lets YouTube know that there are people who are enjoying this content and that YouTube should send it to more people like you who might also enjoy it. I appreciate that so very much. Thank you. I saw this Palladio. I'm blushing two-in-one cheek and lip tint and decided that I wanted to try it. I'm not exactly sure who I heard it from, so I'm sorry I can't tell you that. It's kind of like a Wet n Wild or a Milk Makeup stick, and I wasn't sure what it was going to look like, but here you can see the swatch, and it is very glowy, more glowy than I thought it was going to be. So we'll see how it blends out, and I think it's really pretty on my skin. Tried to blend it at first with a brush and it didn't really want to blend that way. Maybe if I'd put it on with the brush it would have done better, but honestly it worked best with my fingers. And also I blended it out a little with the sponge. It does dry down to a powder finish. It does not remain tacky, which I appreciate. And I am going to use it on my lips, but first I'm going to use the NYX Professional Suede Matte Lip Liner in Dainty Days. This is a very light lip liner and typically I don't go for the really light ones. Picking a lip liner and picking a foundation, I have the exact same problem. I always look at one and think, oh, I like that one, but I think it's too dark, so I'm going to get this one instead. And dang it all, if when I get it, it isn't too light. So this one is a very light nude, but it's not too orangey. I have a couple of them that are like this, but they are orange, and I just mm, don't like them at all. It is a matte lip liner. It's supposed to stay very well, and it's not as creamy as I would like for it to be. Honestly, the Auto Gel Lip Liner from LA Colors is still my favorite, but this is nice. And like many things, when it's new and it kind of has that coating, that powdery coating on it, it doesn't work as, as easily as after you get that off. So you might want to kind of warm it up on your hand the first time you use it. And then I am going to use the Cheek and Lip Tint on my lips. It is soft and it is a very light color. It's also glowy. I think it's really pretty on the lips for a summer look and I think it kind of goes nicely with this eye look. It stays emollient and very comfortable to wear. I'm not sure what the longevity will be of it, but I can let you know. And so I think that this is a really pretty look for summer. I'm really happy with the products that I used. Not so thrilled with the Clinique eyeliner and would really like this to be just a little bit deeper, but it's a nice pencil. If you want to see how I got this eye look, then click that video right there. And if you want to play a little YouTube roulette and let YouTube pick a video that it thinks you might like, try that one right there. I hope that you all have a beautiful, blessed day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.